everybody's uh, very spirited uh, opening, good way to start the day. Um, and also nice to see so many of you here, uh, welcome you from coming from afar, from Taipei, from Ugg City. Okay, <clears throat> um, Dr. Alma Kluber, Secretary General of the World Medical Association. Dr. Chu Taiyuan, legislator and also honorary president of the Taiwan Medical Association. Esteemed friends from uh, INGOs, NGOs from Taiwan and from abroad, some of them stations here in Taiwan, distinguished guests, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to welcome you all to the 2022 NGO Leaders Forum hosted by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. As the MC, MC mentioned, this is the forum's third consecutive year as we seek to establish a regular platform for dialogue between government, NGOs from Taiwan and from abroad. Over 600 NGO participants, government officials, business representatives, and other guests have already taken part in this meaningful event. And by meeting face to face, we are able to uh, found common ground, help strengthen the, the, the richer cycle created by the civil society, and how, explore how to expand Taiwan's participation in and contributions to the international community. Uh, the main theme for today's forum is challenges and opportunities to Taiwan's public-private partnership in promoting peace and justice in global governance. Uh, it has been quite a year. Uh, uh, well, turbulent year, as, as I hear succeeding my lines here. Um, we've had early in the year the uh, uh, Russia's military intervention in Ukraine. Uh, then um, later on, uh, PRC's uh, military threats to Taiwan. Uh, but we've also seen, not 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 withstanding COVID nineteen, so with with us for almost three years now. But we've also seen some opportunities. Uh, the uh, the civil disobedience in Iran, that as I've read, uh, has forced the uh, the review or even the elimination of their moral police in Iran, and also the uh, the white white sheet or white paper protests in China of civil discontent of China's uh, rulers. It seems that they also ease some restrictions that they've imposed on their citizens. So some of the opportunities, <clears throat> uh, but but at this critical juncture, Taiwan's public and private sectors continue to work together to promote peace and justice and strengthen solidarity, further enhancing Taiwan's resilience and showing the world that Taiwan can help and we have been helping. And we are very honored to. Be joined by today's opening ceremony by a good friend of mine. We have partnered together many times in Geneva uh, with Dr. Otmar Kloiber, Secretary General of the World Medical Association. Dr. Kloiber will deliver his keynote speech in a few minutes. Uh, we'll relate on um, how the World Medical Association has been uh, given us a lot of support in our a quest for uh, international participation, particularly in the World Health Organization. And the WMA has always been a strong supporter of Taiwan's participation, particularly the WHO and global health related mechanisms. And I'd like to ex re reiterate on behalf of the government and people of the Republic of China and Taiwan our appreciation for your effort and WMA's uh, continued support to Taiwan. And Dr. Chloe's keynote speech will be followed by three sessions. Given Taiwan's emerging role as a hub for INGOs in the Asia Pacific region, uh, the first session will focus on INGOs in Taiwan, building a global network of democracy and peace. A key NGO representatives who have set up offices here, and they've been growing, uh, especially in the last two or three years. Uh, we'll share their organization's vision and achievements and tell us why Taiwan matters. The second session will be on Taiwan NGOs' stand with Ukraine. 
since Russia invaded Ukraine, Taiwan and Jews have been actively and steadfastly involved in emerging humanitarian aid efforts in Ukraine and neighboring countries, assisting refugees and displaced people. In Taiwan, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs initiated a drive in March, shortly after the invasion occurred, to collect in-kind donations for Ukrainian refugees. Uh, the people of Taiwan responded in an overwhelming fashion, and local NGOs and volunteers worked tirelessly to help sort and package materials and ensure the campaign was, and it was, a very successful campaign. Um, this afternoon, some of these NGOs will talk about their relentless efforts to support Ukraine through emergency aid and international cooperation. I myself had a very direct contact with uh, one of the uh, this afternoon's uh, uh, deserters will be, which is the uh, Mr. Michel Wu, he's the Disaster Relief Foundation, uh, who we work together in, in achieving a, a great, in a very short time, we were able to do the, uh, the, the, the donations, not only material donations, but also the funds that people donated through the Taiwan Relief Foundation uh, so that we, as government, be able to use this money to help the refugees, not only within Ukraine, but also the refugees that were displaced in the neighboring countries, such as Poland, Slovakia, and the Baltic countries. <clears throat> and this is a very uh, good example of how government and NGOs work together. The third session will be on Taiwan's path to gender equality. In recent years, Taiwan has gained worldwide attention and praise for its promotion of women's empowerment and gender equality. Experts on these subjects will join us to discuss emerging issues on global gender equality and the innovative approaches that Taiwan's women's groups are adopting to expand and strengthen their connections with the international community. The NGO leaders and other participants here today are valuable resources and key assets for Taiwan's diplomatic efforts. I would like to thank all of you for your enthusiastic participation and for your support of Taiwan's diplomacy. We look forward to strengthening partnerships with NGOs further in the coming years so that Taiwan's soft power is even more visible to the international community. I finally, wish all of you today to have a very productive, engaging session. I hope this will be a great success and especially uh, good health to you all. Thank you very much. Thank you.